Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to St. Bernard Acres, finally. I'm out here in the barn. Uh, I got some stuff to unload from the truck. Uh, it's not, I mean, it's a pretty day, sun's out, it's 40 degrees. It's supposed to be a lot warmer <laughs> when I had planned on coming out here. But uh, just having sun, you know, after three weekends of, of snow and rain, I mean, it's still not dry out here, but it's drier enough I can bring some stuff out. I got a little bit to do out here. I get to do my live stream from out here tonight. Uh, it's just good to be here again. Got, like I said, I have some things to unload from the truck because we're going to be bartering. <laughs> I'll show you. We may as well get used to it, folks, because... I think that's the way it's going to wind up. I don't want to participate in the digital currency crap, and once they take our money away, we're going to be bartering everything anyway. So Gary and I are doing some bartering. But uh, let me get started unloading the stuff out of the truck, and then we'll chat a little bit more. Well, I'll tell you, what a difference having this mound of crap here out of the way and this ramp done. I mean, I can bark, park all the way up to the ramp. Pretty much stay off of the uh, stay out of the mud. First off, I got Gary's Christmas gifts. Finally. And I got eight four foot fluorescent lights. <laughs> this is what I'm bartering with Gary over. I'll tell you about it later here when I get unloaded. These are too cool. I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's still a little chilly out here. See these carpet samples? Don't know what they are, right? Guy was going to throw these away. 85 of them. <laughs> it's like, don't throw them away. <laughs> Let me have them. I will find plenty. Slip forward. I will find plenty of uses for them. Trust me. They might be different colors, a little bit different sizes, but I can't see throwing away 85 of these. We already used a few at the house for the dogs, dog food bowls, you know. They're great for that kind of stuff. And when they ruin them, Throw it away, get some more. But these will do the inside of the truck, the camper top, when I convert this into camping. It'll be good for that. One of the reasons I needed to empty this out, I bought a truck mat to go inside here, a thicker rubber mat, so when I use this to camp in, uh, I'll, uh, it'll be easier. Because <laughs> this, the plastic truck liner 
is hard on the knees. So the rubber mat will take care of that. Speaking of that, the bed I made for the van will fit in here perfectly. So that will get reused. Alright, All right. so back to the bartering game with uh, Gary. You all know I need lights in here. I got the one big one that really lights up, you know, this majority of the barn. But I need a couple more over on that side, a couple on this side, one in my uh, tool room, a couple down below. Now that I'm running all this electric, I can run all this lighting. So I was looking for LED lights, you know, the four foot LED utility lights. And guess what? Gary had eight of these. He bought for a project in his basement, didn't work out. And they're basically unused. They are perfect. They plug in. Then you can daisy chain them, plug up the next one into this one and go over the Got like four or five foot cords on them. But let me show you how bright this little thing is. They weigh nothing. And there you go. <laughs> That's bright. That will light this place up. These sides just great. I love it. So Eight of these is really going to do the trick, and I didn't have to buy them. That's the nice thing about bartering things. He has something I needed, I had something he needed that I have extra of. He can't use these. Voila, let's make a deal. That's, that's the name of the game, folks. So let me show you what I'm trading for these. So this will be, you know, what I need to light up. It's kind of hard to see here because it's light outside. But, you know, my big one up there. You come over here. Gary needs a new battery. I know trawling battery and camping battery. I have these LiPo 4 batteries. I got four or five of them. And I'm charging this one up for him now. This is a 12 volt, 100 amp hour, a mini. So it'll go in his kayak just fine if he wants to go kayak fishing with his trolling motor. That 1280 watt hours will last a long time. And I know it's dark over here. I should have turned the lights on, but maybe I can flip one on for you. Hang on. Uh huh. And God said, let there be light. And behold, there was light. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to give him this one. I'm charging it now. I don't know how long it's going to take it to fully charge, but that's what it's doing. And I have that one I'm going to charge up for me for my truck camping. I have another one sitting over there. I have actually the Dr. Prepper one. That's what I'm going to use what's up there. Uh, and my solar panels will go with the truck, you know, when I'm truck camping. But yeah, that's how you do it. I had the extra battery. He had the extra lights. So we swap. Oh, man. I'd be so glad. I mean, it's been the mildest winter ever. It's is February. And for the next 10 days, it's pretty much going to be in the 50s. So you can't argue with that, but uh, it's still cold. I mean, it's like 40-something out here. I'll let you see out. Not a cloud in the sky, which is pretty cool, but it's still chilly. Man, 
Anyway, I gotta go get ready for my live stream. I got my stuff unloaded. I need to unload. I'll uh, have some videos on my other channel as I set up that camper or that truck for camping. There's a lot of videos on YouTube I've been getting ideas from for truck camping. But they all got like five and a half foot beds and six and a half foot beds. Me and Gary both have eight foot beds. So we'll be rigging these things out and be for camping and almost like a bug out vehicle. So just a quick check in for you guys, February 3rd. This is Joe out here in the barn. I'm out.